hello lovely people welcome to my channel today we are going to do different crochet curly hair and the things that we will need we will need our mousse leave-in conditioner the cream bending rollers different size of it a permanent rod brush and scissors i just found out this new brand is called smart braid it's value pack 56 inches and I've been using this to achieve these curls and it's so bright, shiny and the curls look so smooth so you can check it out and find out it's really long, longer than expression so before I started this one I did a whole lot of research and I was looking at the best way to come out with the best curls and my first trial was this one the first one I did was, um, no, this one and you can tell there was a lot of gaps there and the curls started coming out really nice so i found out that when you are doing it your hair needs to be this one is two different ones your hair needs to be so close to each other so close to each other if not you will end up if you leave a bit wider curls like this ones you end up having different curl pattern so and another thing that I always also find out is that if you can see that this curls is the same permanent rod I use but because this hair is really thick you come out with this curls and I took this hair really thin and I came up with this hair and another curls too I used the permanent rod and I came out with this one it's pretty stretch you brush it again and you use your cream to go on it smoothen it with your cream you smoothen it with your cream and what I learned was you hold the hair like that you twist the hair you twist it again you twist it again so you've got three types You've twisted it three times you put your rod your bending rollers sorry your bending rollers in like that so you can tell that this bit is twisted go around like that one two and three so you've got this twisted as well now you go like that so can you see that that is more twisted you keep on going like that and go very close to each other depending on the curls that you want to achieve you go so close to each other so now you've got that little tip bit there because if you put everything inside and you are just taking your curls out after the hot water and you will not see the tip of it so always just keep that tip and go deep make it very tight inside like tight inside so it becomes like a knot so i've squeezed it inside so it stays in for me and when you finish this is the beginning of it so you just pull it a bit close to make it a bit close you take your scissors then you trim all the hair around it and now we've got this space and because you don't want to be using a lot of rod and that so after you've got this space you take another style that you want to use because in my view i want to get black and gray so the same way you go there and this is small so i'll take a bit off so that it won't come out so thick i'll take a bit off then you brush your hair i'll put my cream in so another one the same way as i did you twist it and you put it in between your finger twist it then you put it in between your finger then you take your your bending rollers put them between there then you go one two three now when you go in like that I like to brush it because you don't want to see all the hair 
running around so you go in I'm not I'm just using my my hand to go in like that to go in and it will take a couple of practicing because when I started it I was struggling with it so when you get to the last bit of it like this use all your energy put them in between one of that so it stays so you don't need any rubber band anything to do it so two has gone on it this one is for that one this one is just the gap there this one is for that it's too close so you do any way you want and you put it down and the reason why you have to go tighter and tighter from the beginning is that can you see that you don't even know where I started my work from because I twisted it and it all looked like it's been twisted from the end to the finishing so and this one too is the same way I did you twist it so you can this one is not being open so when you are going to open it, I'll show you when I put them in hot water this one I've just opened it now so can you see that it's all look like it's curled so you know that the starting is from here so when you are doing your um, crochet braiding you know where to start from so I'm going to dip the ones that I've made with you in a hot water this one will be sorted um, later on so this is the one I've made with you today don't forget to trim all your hair so I'm going to put it in hot water and leave it for an hour then come back then we all unravel it together all right see you later so we finished with the bending rollers one which is looking cute here and this one's i've not trimmed it is something i'm going to use later on so i'm going to use the bending rollers one i put my cream on and the bending rollers one um the payment road one what i found out was that it was just scratching the back of my finger and i don't know this curls doesn't look like i would like it but it's just your preference somebody may like a loose curls so i will show you how i did the payment um, broad one so the hair is here like that i've already put my cream on i brush it just twist it yeah and leave it here twist it again you leave it the third time twist it so now it's twisted you put your permanent rod inside that yeah then you just one two three then you go around so you use your finger you hold the you go around So the same way, you, you the little bit left, put them inside with the whole energy in you. Put them inside, then you leave that bit there. You leave that little bit, so that will help you to unravel it when you put it in hot water. So these are the two curls that we are going to put them in hot water and see which one you will prefer as i've already told you before you decide which rod or any curls um, thing that you are going to use look at the style you want to achieve what style do you want to achieve do you want to loose curls tight curls water wave or anything then you base on it and choose your rods so you base on your rod and get your your curl pattern so see you an hour time. This is my leave-in conditioner, the things that I will show you of earlier on. So that will even cool it more, it's cold. So this is a leave-in conditioner to make the hair more softer. 
a little more easy because when you put them on you don't want to be disturbing the curls so i'm taking the first one out so that then you look for the hair that you were sticking have you seen how easy to take it out because the leave-in conditioner also helps it so the tight bit there is still holding on to that can you see that and it looks more like this can you see the difference it looks more like this yeah so i'll leave that calcium when you take it out don't be disturbing it leave it to still cool down then this is the bending rollers one it's two different two hair in that that's why you see this gap so i will still trim that because once you put you take it out you can't be trimming it and i've already put my leave-in conditioner on so you look for that tiny hair that you left look it makes it easy to find then all the curls you need to treat it very gently oh gosh that is so beautiful that is so beautiful and as i keep on saying that bit and that looks the same so you need that there i'm going to trim the ends but that is the curls and that is the finishing bit So if somebody wants to split it, this is where the mousse also comes in. You split it with your mousse. Mousse is save the hair from it's anti-freeze mousse, so it helps the hair not to freeze out. So when you put the hair in the hair, look, it gives you that nice curly look. So if the person wants to split it after you put them in the hair, you put your mousse on and split it look and if you want the afro looking curls this is how you do it and another oh that is so beautiful that is so 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 yummy 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 so when you are taking it out the pre-loop hair is always there this is how i like about that curl pattern so the pre-loop one is there to take it out you pull your finger in the loop that you created and you just undo it with your mousse you just undo it look another baby has been created another beautiful baby has been created so these are the tie curls that you want and if you want a bouncy a bouncy one a bouncy loose curls this is what you want so you can tell the difference so if you want i use the this one for that and this one for that so i'll come out with more tutorial on how to install that as well this is what you need to do choose your curls based on what on, on based on your roots so instead of buying the crochet breeding pack the, for the curls which one pack can be a bit expensive you can buy just two pack which is under 10 pounds and create your own curl pattern take it to the salon and have your crochet braiding done it's much cheaper you can do this when you're watching tv or you can do that at your spare time you can do a lot of them there take it to your hairdresser and let them install your your crochet for you thank you for watching with me thank you see you later bye